hello everyone in today's video we are going to learn about pins and what are the different cases of pins what is the efficiency of a pin what is the effectiveness of pin for different cases first of all what is a pin pin is a projection protruding from the hot surface into some ambient fluid such that they are meant for increasing the heat transfer rate by increasing the surface area how the heat transfer rate will increase by increasing surface area we are talking about convection here h a surface delta t q is equal to h a surface into delta t here as the a surface increases the value of q increases therefore the heat transfer rate will increase so to increase the heat transfer rate the surface area has to be increased therefore we use pins to increase the surface area of the cylinder we generally see pins in our day to day life on your motor bike that is near the engine pins are generally protruded over the cylindrical block and cylinder head in case of reciprocating air compressors in case of automobile radiators in case of ac refrigerating units in case of electrical motors if you have a water pump in your home you can see that there is some longitudinal pins over that water pump and electrical devices therefore as we increase the surface area the heat will get conducted inside the object that is if you are taking a cylinder like this if you are increasing the surface area by providing pins on its circumference what happens whatever be the heat present here will get conducted through this length through this pins to outside like this and from outside the air will be flowing therefore whatever be the heat is getting conducted that will get convected out therefore increasing the rate of heat transfer so that your engine block will not get heated up beyond its certain limit what happens if the engine block will increase the what happens the temperature of the engine block will increase temperature inside the engine will also increase there will be piston inside the cylinder this piston will increase its size because of temperature there will be some expansion of this piston therefore what will happen this free motion of piston will not be entertained anymore piston will cease inside the cylinder therefore we will say that the engine is seized therefore the engine has to be sent for repair so to avoid these consequences what we are doing is we are providing some cooling that is air cooling by providing fins on the circumference of the cylindrical block so that uh, some amount of temperature is maintained on the cylinder without exceeding its material limit i hope you understand what is the use of fins so let us start our discussion what are the different cases of fins and we'll see what are the efficiencies what are their effectiveness for each case one more thing one should note that fins are generally used where the convective heat transfer coefficients are relatively low remember this point we'll come to this point later on let us start our discussion with the analysis of a rectangular fin let this be some cylindrical surface or some plate through which heat has to be taken out therefore we are providing some fin which is protruded from this surface like this this is a fin this is a three dimensional fin now at x equal to 0 temperature is the base temperature that is wall temperature now the temperature of this wall is higher than that of the whatever be the temperature present on this fin therefore heat will start conducted through this fin in this direction and while conducting heat some amount of heat is being convected outside where h is the heat transfer coefficient of the flowing fluid outside the flowing fluid that is ambient ambient heat transfer coefficient therefore what happens whatever be the heat is getting conducted 
some amount of heat is being convecting out therefore heat qx plus dx is less than that of qx therefore let us write the heat balance equation for this situation see qx is equal to qx plus dx plus q convection qx plus dx can be expanded like this qx plus dou qx by dou x plus dx plus q convection is nothing but h into surface area which is nothing but perimeter into length into t minus t infinity let t be the variable temperature present on the fin okay after cancelling out all these terms we will get dou square t d square t upon dx square minus sp upon k ac into t minus t infinity this is a cross sectional area this area is the cross sectional area of the fin okay let us take some assumption let us take some let us say that t minus t infinity is equal to theta therefore what will happen d t upon d x is equal to d theta upon d x since t infinity is constant therefore we can write d square t upon d x square as d square theta upon d x square putting h p upon k a c is equal to m square this is used since we are writing everywhere h p upon k a c we have given some name to this as m square which simplifies our calculation therefore d square theta upon dx square minus m square theta is equal to 0 from where we will end up with this different quadratic differential equation whose solution is d is equal to plus r minus m is the root of this quadratic equation from which we can write x is equal to that is theta is equal to c1 e power minus mx plus c2 e power plus mx where m is root over hp upon k ac ac means a cross sectional area this is the cross sectional area please do remember p means perimeter h means convective heat transfer coefficient k is thermal conductivity here again c1 and c2 are the constants of integration which again we have to find out by substituting the boundary conditions what are the boundary conditions let us see what are the boundary conditions there are two boundary conditions required since there are two unknowns c1 and c2 uh, first boundary condition is that at x equal to 0 t is equal to t naught that is theta is equal to theta naught which is t naught minus t infinity this is common boundary condition and second boundary condition depends on different cases of fin now let us discuss the each case of fin clearly first case is that fin is infinitely long or very long fin a fin is said to be a very long fin when the tip of the fin temperature of the tip of the fin is same that of the temperature of the ambient fluid therefore since the temperature here is t base temperature the temperature here is t infinity then we will call it as infinitely long fin for this situation we have the formula theta upon t naught theta upon theta naught is equal to e power minus mx we have arrived this from our basic formula that is theta is equal to c1 e power minus mx plus c2 e power plus mx if x tends to infinity what happens what is theta theta is nothing but t minus t infinity at x tends to infinity t is equal to t infinity therefore equal to 0 therefore 0 is equal to c1 into e power minus m into x plus c2 into e power m into x since x tends to infinity this value will become 0 but this will become infinity so to make it 0 only possible case is that c2 has to be 0 therefore what will get theta is equal to c1 into e power minus mx now we have to find this constant of integration which can be found using the first boundary condition that is at x equal to 0 theta is equal to theta naught therefore c1 into e power 0 that is 1 this value is 1 therefore theta naught is equal to c1 
therefore theta by theta not is equal to e power minus mx this is the formula which we have written here therefore the variation is exponentially varying variation is exponential and let us see what is the amount of heat that is being conducted through the fin let us apply the Fourier law of heat conduction at x equal to 0 which is minus k a dot t by dx now dt by dx is nothing but dt by dx is nothing but theta naught into minus m into e power minus mx at x equal to 0 this will become 1 therefore dt by dx is equal to minus m theta naught now let us substitute this value of dt by dx at x equal to 0 in this equation we will get k a c m theta naught here a is nothing but a c that is cross sectional area of the fin therefore q is equal to k a c m theta naught since m is equal to root over h p upon k a c you will get q is equal to root over h p k a c theta naught this is this equation therefore you have to remember this equation for heat this is same for all the cases that i will show you later now let us see the second case in case of fin second case is that fin is finite in length but the tip of the fin is convected that tip of the fin is insulated so that there is no heat transfer rate at this tip insulation means there is no heat transfer we can also use the condition that dou t by dou x is equal to 0 at x equal to l dou t by dou x equal to 0 at x equal to l can be used because it is a insulated tip there is no heat transfer since there is no heat transfer q is equal to 0 at x equal to l from where we will get dou t by dou x at x equal to l is equal to 0 since dou t by dou x that is dt by dx is nothing but d theta by dx we can write this as the, like this then what is the solution initially we have seen that theta upon theta naught is equal to e power minus mx for infinitely long fin for this case that is insulated tip case the equation is theta upon theta naught is equal to cos h of m into l minus x by cos h of ml where cos h is an cos hyperbolic function what you have to do is you just find out the value of m into l minus x and put it in virtual KLC using hyperbolic function you will get cos h of m into l minus x the value of q fin is same up to here everything is same only thing that you have to do is multiply with tan h of m into l okay this is the second case if in the examination there is no case mentioned then by default assume that it is an insulated tip and one more thing that there is no such thing like this insulation for the tip we are just assuming that there is no heat transfer taking place there now coming to our third case third case is that fin is again finite in length but the tip is not insulated that is there is heat transfer at the tip also therefore first case is that fin is of infinite length second case is fin is finite length but the tip is insulated and the third case is that fin is finite in length and there is no insulation at the tip therefore heat loss will take place even from the tip therefore our formula is similar to that of second case but only thing is in place of l we have to write lc lc is characteristic length that is our corrected length which is equal to lc is equal to l plus t by 2 in case of rectangular fin lc is equal to l plus d by 4 in case of pin fin a formula for q is also same only thing that you have to do is in place of l write lc therefore all the three cases of fin by now has completed now let us see what is the efficiency and what is the effectiveness for various cases fin efficiency fin efficiency is defined as the ratio of actual amount of heat that is being conducted through this fin to that of 
the maximum amount of heat that can be taken out by this fin therefore what is the actual amount of heat that is being conducted into the fin we have already seen that is root over hp kac theta naught root over hp kac theta naught is the actual amount of heat that is being conducted through this fin now what is the q max q max is that the amount of heat that is being convected from the surface of this fin to the top surrounding ambient fluid such that the temperature of the entire fin is same as that of the base temperature that is t naught whatever be the temperature present at here if we assume that the same temperature is exist throughout the fin then the heat transfer rate will be maximum that is ha t naught minus t infinity is the formula for q max therefore we know the formula for q actual and q max therefore we can find the efficiency of the fin for the case one the value of q max is same for all the cases which is equal to h a surface area h into a surface area into t naught minus t infinity therefore this is same for all the cases the only thing that differs is the numerator that is q actual q actual will vary depending on the case of the fin if you are talking about the first case q actual is root over hp kac theta naught if you are talking about the finite length of fin with the insulated tape that is second case q actual for the second case is root over hp kac theta naught minus t infinity t naught minus t infinity into tan h of ml only thing that is added is tan h of ml if you are talking for the third case the only difference is that there will be mlc in case of ml therefore the final formula for the fin efficiency in second case is tan h of ml by ml in case of third case is tan h of mlc by mlc please revise this concept because it is very much useful in case of your numericals remember this formulas now let us see what is the effectiveness of a fin effectiveness of fin is defined as a ratio between the heat transfer rate with fin to the top heat transfer rate without fin is ratio between heat transfer rate when there is fin to the top heat transfer rate if there is no fin if the effectiveness of fin is greater than or equal to 2 then it is our purpose of providing fin is fulfilled remember this value they might sometime ask you in one more questions for our first case what is the value of q with fin k a c m theta naught what is the value of q without fin let us see this is our surface there is no fin provided here uh, therefore what is the amount of heat that is being convected through this area h a delta t here a is the circumference not circumference area it is a cross-sectional area of the fin therefore h a cross-sectional area into theta naught which is equal to that equal to m k by h therefore effectiveness for the case one is m k by h let us see what is the value of active effectiveness what is the formula for effectiveness in case of our insulated tip of fin that is for finite length q actual is k a c m theta naught tan h of ml or you can also write root over h p k a c this can also be written as k a c m theta naught tan h of ml by h a c theta naught which upon cancellation will get m k by h into tan h of ml this is easier for remembering m k by h already seen this is for the first case for the second case what you have to do is just multiply with tan h of ml similarly for the third case what you will do just write lc in place of l what is the significance of fin significance of fin is that by what percentage the heat transfer rate will increase by using or keeping the fin compared to that the case where there is no fin therefore this is just comparison between what is the amount of heat that is being take heat transfer that is being taking place when there is a fin to the top what is the heat transfer that is actually there when there is no fin 
if the value of effectiveness is less than 1 that means that the there is no role of using pin even we are decreasing the heat transfer rate by using pin we are using extra cost to provide pins and further we are reducing the heat transfer rate this is not justifiable therefore our effectiveness should always be greater than 1 preferably it should be greater than 2 pins are generally used where there is less heat transfer coefficient value that is the value of h is less then only we will use pins we will not use pins when there is a water medium which is flowing around the our and our body which we need to cool because the value of convective heat transfer coefficient is very high this will decrease the value of effectiveness because the value of effectiveness is mk by h as the value of h increases this value will reduce therefore pins are generally used to the places where the convective heat transfer coefficient is less fins effectiveness of fin is proportional to root over p by a which says that for the fin to be more effective the value of perimeter must be higher than that of the area therefore cross-sectional area therefore the fins with thin and closely packed fins are more effective than a large fins and also material which is having higher thermal conductivity will have more effectiveness because effectiveness is proportional to root over k number of pins required if in the examination he will ask you what is the number of pins required he will give you what is the amount total amount of heat to be dissipated and he will do he will give you some values so that you can find what is the amount of heat that can be taken out through each pin so just dividing the total heat by heat by each pin you will get the value of n so don't get confused between e is proportional to mk by h and root over hp upon kac into k by h this is nothing but root over pk upon hac this is just a derivation i have used this for your simplicity you can always use this so that you can have a clear picture that is how effectiveness is proportional to which thing here if you use this formula we will get effectiveness is proportional to k which is not true effectiveness proportional to root over k that is true effectiveness is proportional to root over p by h or p by ac and effectiveness is proportional to inversely proportional to root over h therefore if someone is someone asks you how the variation of effectiveness with these values so always use this formula i have told you this for easy remembrance therefore conclusion for the fins is that fins must be moderately short thin and closely packed high thermal conductivity is required and high number of pins is required so that maximum amount of heat is transmitted in our next class we will do some numericals on pins so revise this concept and be prepared and come to next class so that you will enjoy the solving of problems of heat transfer in case of pins thank you one and all don't lose your hope keep practicing all the best